Bug Racer brought to you by Digikey and Adafruit every single week. Adafruit, Digikey show you how to find the things that you are looking for, and that is something really important, especially now. Lady Ada, what is this week's great search? Glad you asked. This week we had a request, email came in. Um, somebody was asking for uh, 1206 sized warm white LEDs. Um, we use them in our LED sequence. That's product number 1758. And they're like, I just want to use these. And I don't want to desolder um, the uh, the LEDs because, yeah, that, that kind of sucks. So, you know, can you just buy it on reels? So we don't sell um, SMT warm white LEDs on a reel. But the good news is that DigiKey has, like, thousands of LEDs. Um, and we've uh, we've done some, you know, high uh, current output color neutral LEDs. But we didn't do this particular thing, which is, like, an inexpensive... Um, diff, you know, diffused ish 1206 package warm white. So let's go to um, the computer. Jewelry. Um, so if you go to DigiKey, um, so white LEDs are kind of interesting. Um, they have two locations they show up in. Um, but let's just search for 1206 LED because that's kind of, we, you know, whatever, we're looking for the size of the LED. So again, there's, there's, you know, white and discrete LEDs. I'll say look in both, but in this case, we're going to look in um, discrete. We want one uh, LED indicator. Um, and there's a couple different colors available. And there's Mill Candela. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot of options. Um, but the most important thing is we did pick 1206. So let's go for color. Um, so, you know, of course, LEDs come in all sorts of colors, but we want... Uh, white, and particularly we want white warm. Um, I will say, you know, what, what is cool, neutral, and warm? It really does depend on what, like, what is your definition of? I mean, I know that there's probably some, like, formal definition, but, um, you know, 6,000K, uh, 3,500K, and then 2,000K, I think, are usually the, the three kind of boundaries. Um, but, of course, we want to be more specific about color binning and how warm you want the LEDs, um, you can look at the data sheet and be more specific about that detail. For stuff like the LED sequence, we don't, it's not really like binned or formalized. These are very inexpensive LEDs. So just, just be aware, like there's, there's times where you're like, I need it to be like exactly this temperature because I'm using it um, for illuminating um, something that needs to have like a full spectrum or like a, a neutral light. In this case, it's just decorative. It sounds like this person's being, doing a decorative project. Okay. So applying this, um, there's a lot of options um, that come up, I will say. Um, however, you know, uh, you know, again, there's like white LED. A lot of these, if you want to know what is the, the, the color, like it's not, it doesn't necessarily like, you know, here it's actually described as cool white. And of course, in the data sheet, you can get more information, but it's not... Um, the wavelength, sorry, the wavelength, uh, sorry, the color, ah, sorry, there's a lot going on here. Sorry. So the color here, white, um, is generic and doesn't necessarily indicate that it's a warm white type LED because again, usually the, the, the Kelvin warmth of an LED is only used for um, LEDs that are illumination, not indication, so like bright LEDs. That said, um, as I was looking, this LED popped up because I was like, well, what if I actually do say I only want warm white and I don't want to like dig, you know, because I wanted to get this person to answer really quickly and I was like, I'm not going to dig through every data sheet. So I clicked um, warm white and the thing is, is that only um, one thing came up, but it was actually like a pretty good option, which is w weird, right? Usually there's like, you have to sift through things. Um, but this is a warm white LED. Um, it's, it's a little bit, you know, an unusual package. It's not like the flat, but I kind of like it's a little bit of a, of a bar shape. Um, and uh, it's 1206. It's quite bright, but that's okay. It's, it's a 2700 millicandela, which is, which is a, a bright, it's actually an illumination LED. However, that's good. Just the choke resistor you use, just like make it a 10K. It's like you're losing less current. So, you know, good, good for everybody and everything. Um, and it is cataloged as a warm white. And best of all, there's a lot in stock. So, you know, it's 100,000 in stock. 
And the pricing is is like pretty cheap. It's like three, four cents a piece if you're buying in quantity. Even in small quantities, it's like five, seven cents. Um, so this is like, I was kind of like, this is, this is kind of my pick. Um, there could be other LEDs that are more in that, you know, like, uh, you know, ziggurat shape, whatever, like the boxy shape. But if you don't mind having a slightly unusual looking LED, um, you know, maybe it's miscategorized, but this, this LED would, would do the job. You don't need to, if you're using something for indi indication, you can use an illumination LED and just like underdrive it and it will work fine. So I think that this is my great search pick. Uh, maybe not what you expected, but um, there's a lot of them in stock and that's the most important thing right now. So. Uh, one question was why not apply in stock when you were looking up stuff earlier? Um, I didn't because uh, this happened to be in stock. But yeah, usually, it, you know, if it wasn't that I only had 50 choices, um, yeah. I would have. But I'll say another thing. The LEDs are not as affected by the silicon shortage. So if it is out of stock, it's, it's somewhat likely to come into stock um, very quickly. Whereas with silicon, if it's out of stock, there is like it's a mystery when you might get it. So um, I'm, a little, I'm a little biased on, on some things. But also wanted to have something to, to recommend for long-term use. And uh, this isn't my project, this is another person's project. So if there was a really good LED and it was out of stock, but it would be in stock in a month, I'd still send it over and say, hey, look, you know, this is unavailable right now. I don't know what your needs are. Um, but if you can wait a couple weeks, um, this might pop up. So okay. there you go. That's a great search. Where in the world is